Well, shake it, oh baby, now shake it, oh baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, baby, come on and work it on out. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. I just farted. I'm so sorry. I want to say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. 25 seconds in. I can still redo this, but I won't. I will power through. Uh, so we have a Medium article today from VV saying, quote, introducing VV Digital Comics. Uh, and that's just the, right there, oh, the Telegram message. But that's just what it says right there. It is a four minute read. As of today, it says, quote, in our ever expanding product range, we're excited to announce the launch of digital comics into the VV platform. Like our digital collectibles, digital comics are limited edition NFTs and in most cases come in various levels of rarity with the rarer types having lower edition numbers, as you would expect. Uh, one great advantage of the digital comics over physical versions is that, oh, excuse me, is that they will stay in pristine condition no matter how many times you read them. So no need to worry about the damaged spines or dog-eared corners and no need for more bookshelves, which is so great because I have no room in here. <laughs> the cover variants. Now, in the world of physical comics, some are released with different cover variants. The comic interior pages are the same However, the cover is different from the standard issue cover, which is great. That's cool as you just interact with them. Uh, and, and this is something that you were going to be able to see eventually with not just comic books. Oh, change the different covers of them. But we're going to be able to do this with changing Superman's cape and Batman's cape and changing, uh, you know, for, let's go with uh, Spider-Man's suit. That type of thing would be pretty cool. Uh, and making those rare covers all the more sought after. Now, BB Digital Collectibles will be offered in the same way and in most cases, VV Digital Comics will be released with up to five cover variants, each of which is associated with a different rarity, common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and the ever elusive secret rare. Now, purchasing digital comics is that when it comes to purchasing digital comics in the store, you first need to switch to the digital comics section. So I guess if there's an update, uh, let's see if there's one right now in the Play Store. Because there was last week, there was an additional, oh, all right, there is. So go to the Play Store, I am so sorry, guys. Uh, click update. Uh, so that's what you have to do right now. Because again, they, they did have that last week as well. And I guess during the update, we'll <laughs> we'll see what it does. Uh, when it, uh, need to switch the digital comics section, which is gonna be great. I can't wait for a new section. This is achieved using the new switcher menu located just under the VV logo header bar. I just wanna make, oh, okay. So basically as soon as you open the app, what you'd see under that bar is you could see the digital collections or digital comics. You'd switch to the digital comics. Oh, so digital comics is probably gonna be heckin' huge. If they're making a whole new section completely for this, that's gonna be insane. That's gonna be bananas. I, oh my God. That that means this is this is not just a Marvel. I mean, again, they they don't just have comics from Marvel and DC. They, ha they have comic books for like, Avatar The Last Airbender, they have comic books for My Little Pony, I, they have comic books for Power Rangers, those comic books are hardcore. This is, this is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> in the best way. Uh, wow. And you can switch between digital collectibles and digital comics. Now, before purchasing a digital comic, you can review the odds getting a specific cover variant, as well as the number of editions remaining. So kind of the same as they had as the Mighty Marvels drop. These details can be seen when viewing a digital comic in the store, once the digital comic has been purchased, it will appear in your digital comic section of your collection. And now, I, I am not gonna go like I did last time and say, oh, look, there's still this many left. I could, And then suddenly it, it sold out literally in 15 minutes. It's like, what the fudge? Uh, yeah, no, this is gonna be sold out probably in well under uh, 15 minutes because one, there's not 96,000 of them. There's only 60,000 of them for tomorrow. Uh, and then at the same time, it's only seven uh, gems instead of 13. Now, when purchasing, purchasing a VV digital comic, you won't know which cover variant you will get until after the purchase, much like VV blind boxes. The covers, variant, and rarity will be displayed on the purchase success screen uh, in the example below. Let's see what we got here. All right, so when you confirm the purchase, that's what it'll look like. And when the purchase was a success, you'll, you'll, you'll know which one that you have, which is pretty cool. Um, in the example below, yep. Uh, and, and that is a, a rare cover variant uh, for that one, for that Marvel Comics. 
Now note, during high traffic periods such as a drop, the comic rarity will be known to you only after delivery to your collection, which may pay to, is it, they say 30 to 120 minutes, which means like 30 minutes to two hours. But last time from Marvel Mighties, it literally took like eight hours for it all to deliver, which is fine. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know. A couple people were worried like, hey, did you get yours yet? It's been like three hours, four hours. Yeah, I didn't get all mine uh, until much, much later uh, in the day. So it says that the comic rarity will be known to you only after delivery to your collection. So that means like as soon as we get it, we don't know. So there's no buying one. Let's say you get super lucky, you get that secret rare. It's like, nope, I'm done, not buying. Apparently you only know after it's delivered to you, which is, which is weird. Um, but okay, I guess that makes sure that they'll sell out. Digital comic collection says, as mentioned above, when a digital comic has been purchased, it will appear in your collection tab. Similar to the store, you can use a switcher menu at the top of the collection screen to switch between digital comics and digital collectibles. Uh, the collection, digital comic section, is divided into two parts. At the top, you'll see the digital comics you are reading, if, you're, if you decide to read them, uh, and below all the digital comics you own will be displayed. And each comic rarity or cover variant will show as a separate item. Ah, that's so cool. So you can see all the cover variants you own. Uh, now, like I said, we're going to be able to read these and we have a VV comic e-reader. Now with VV digital comics, you don't get just the cover. You're buying the full comic ready to read with VV's built-in e-reader so you can read the digital comic right after after it's been delivered to your collection. It's so freaking cool. To read a digital comic, you only need to simply tap the comic cover in your collection. You can then tap on the left or right of the screen to navigate through the pages and double tap uh, the center of the screen to zoom in or zoom out, same as you do with like pictures and memes and stuff. Uh, and then drag the zoomed in page with your finger for an easier reading experience. If you want to zoom in further, you can pinch between the two fingers like that. And the e-reader will also remember the last page read and when returning to the digital comic will jump to the last page so you can continue from where you left off similar to twitter i guess you can exit that for like six years you'll come back to the exact same thing uh and in the secondary market like digital collectibles vv digital comics can be sold can be purchased and sold in vv's secondary market either as a buy now price or an auction in the top navigation on the market screen you will see a new icon for comics under which all comics listed in the market will be displayed uh, and, and then that's that's it. So be advised guys that let me Let me go to the Play Store and, and let me open this and let me just show you guys exactly what we got going here And shout out to VV Darklink. VV Darklink sent me a uh, Steve Rogers NFT just out of the kindness of his heart um, Which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I mean if you do want to send anything to me chubby cat 5, <laughs> but let's see what um, What they're talking about so right up there eh, I can press that and I can go to either or, that's so cool, but the digital comics, right now it just has, it actually shows you what, what they are. Obviously I don't have any of these yet. Um, probably, I'm gonna say the, the Marvel comics that from the 1939, that's probably gonna be the most sought after, just cause that was the first. But then you have the first appearance of Loki, and then you have Fantastic Four. I, uh, I actually have not seen the What If series for today. The What If series is Marvel's What Happens If, uh, you know, Star-Lord uh, it was not Chris Pratt. Let's say if Star Wars was actually uh, Chitala, Chitala gets taken and he becomes Star Lord. Like what, what? What happens if that goes on? Which again, I thought was pretty cool, and they might coincide with some of the drops at some point. Uh, but like I said, just the fact that they have a whole separate thing for digital comics, yeah, this is gonna be huge. And like most of what we have have comic books. Like the partnerships that we have, they have comic books, and I'm very, very excited for them. So anyway, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you all tonight at 10.15. Everyone say bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow. Meow.